The Zorg's Theorem in 2D. This is an extreme explaining tutorial. Let us first state the, the Zorg's Theorem. We have a triangle ABC and then we have a point E that have segments going to A, B and C. Now we pick an arbitrary triangle A prime, B prime and C prime that also lies on those segments. We can now identify corresponding sides on those two triangles. For instance, A prime B prime corresponds to AB, A prime C prime corresponds to AC, and B prime C prime corresponds to BC. We are interested where the corresponding sides meet each other. For instance, A prime C prime meets AC in a point, let's call it H. Likewise, A prime B prime meets AB in a point, let's call it I. Now we have two points, and between two points we can drag a line. Here we have that line. The question is now, where will the third pair, B prime C prime and BC meet? Let's take a look. As we can see, they meet in a point J, that also seems to lie on the line through H and I. Is that a coincidence or is it always like this? Let's change the points a bit and see what happens. As we drag and change, the point G is still on the line. So it seems that J will always line on the line through H and I. In other words, the points H, I and J are collinear. And that is what the Zorg's theorem states. And that is what we will try to prove. Now if we look at our original configuration, we might ask ourselves, how do we prove this? After several false starts I had a key idea. The line through H and I looks like a horizon line on a canvas that the painter paints. If this is a painting, of a real-world situation, and this is the horizon, then these two green lines would be parallel in the real world, just like a railway track. And these two red lines would also be parallel in the real world. And then we have the blue lines. We want to prove that they also lie on the horizon. That is, we have to prove that they are also parallel in the real world. If we could prove that, then we would be done. What we want to do is to take this network of lines and points and put it on the painter's canvas. And then see what the corresponding network of lines and points look in the real world. So here is the situation. We have the painter's canvas here. We have the painter's eye here. And here we have the horizon. Each point on the canvas will be projected on another point in the real world. And each network of point and lines on the canvas will be projected on another network in the real plane. So here is our original network and we'll put it in the canvas plane so that the line through H and I coincides with the horizon. And then we look at how the projected network looks in the real plane. Here is the network we will get. We know that the red lines are parallel we know that the green lines are parallel. If we can prove that the blue lines are also parallel, then we are done. How can we prove that two lines are parallel in general? One way is to choose a point E and drag two rays that cross the lines. Then mark the intersection points. The lines are parallel precisely when the triangle EA prime B prime and the triangle EAB are congruent. And that is precisely when the ratio EA over EA prime is equal to the ratio EB over EB prime. Let's now go back to our network in the real plane. We want to show the following lemma. If red lines are parallel and green lines are parallel, then the blue lines must also be parallel. 
Looking closely, we can identify three pair of triangles. Look at the first pair. We know that the red lines are parallel. That means that the triangles EA'B and EAB are congruent, which means that the ratio EB over EB prime is equal to the ratio EA over EA prime. Look at the second pair. We know that the green lines are parallel. That means that the triangles EA prime C prime and EAC are congruent, which means that the ratio EC over EC prime is equal to the ratio EA over EA prime. Observe that the ratio EA over EA prime is in both equations, which means that these two ratios, EB over EB prime and EC over EC prime are equal. Look at the third pair. Since the ratio EB over EB prime is equal to the ratio EC over EC prime, we know that the triangles EB prime, C prime and EBC or congruent, which means that the blue lines are parallel. We have proven the lemma and consequently the Zorg's theorem. Let's summarize. We knew that the red lines are parallel. We also knew that the green lines are parallel. We have proved that the blue lines are parallel. Project this network back in the canvas plane. We know that all parallel lines from the real plane meet on the horizon line in the canvas plane. That proves that I, H and J are collinear, which is what the Zorg's theorem states. Before we leave, let's look back. We proved the Zorg's theorem, which is a problem about three points on a line. We did it by looking at the transformation from the canvas plane to the real plane. Could we use this method for some other problem? The first that comes to mind is Pappus' theorem, which is also about showing that three points are collinear. The Zorg's theorem and Pappus' theorem belong to a branch of mathematics called projective geometry. There are other fascinating stories to tell in projective geometry, such as the history of projective geometry, which was not discovered by mathematicians, but by artists. There is also more to say about transformation between the canvas plane and the real plane, but those is for other tutorials. Thank you for watching.